Hello, Brava lovers. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chicken parm right in your Brava. It's so easy. We're going to start off with the chicken, of course, where we're going to be pounding it until it's about half an inch thick. That's going to be really important so that it cooks evenly. By the way, a quick cleanup trip is to wrap your tenderizer with some plastic wrap so that when you're done pounding, you're pretty much ready to not have to wash it. Okay, let's season our chicken breasts that have been pounded and a little salt, a little garlic powder in there. We're going to beat some eggs and also mix some panko breadcrumbs with some of this beautiful grated Parmesan. Go ahead and dip the chicken breasts inside of the egg and then make sure that you're coating it with plenty of that panko Parmesan mixture on both sides. Push in gently so you have a ton of it on both sides. And we're going to go ahead and drizzle a little bit of olive oil here because we're not frying it. We're just brava frying it onto your pan and make sure you add a little bit more olive oil on top of it. Okay, into your brava and we're going to go ahead and sear it from the bottom for a few minutes. And when you are ready, you're going to go ahead and flip it. Look how brown and beautiful that looks already. We want to make sure it's fully cooked, of course. But we're going to go ahead and sear it on the bottom side as well. And what you get is this perfectly cooked, juicy. I mean, you can just eat this right now like this. But we're going to add something to it, which is, of course, some, your favorite marinara sauce just on top of it. Uh, I want to slice some fresh mozzarella on top. You can grate mozzarella as well. Back into the brava and look at this, guys. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? A little bit of basil on top of it. And you can just go into it with a fork. Look how tender and juicy that looks. This brava chicken parm can be eaten just like this. Or go ahead and put it between two buns and call it a day.